Hey and welcome back from the break. I'm Daniel Ratnapinta and I'm in the nation's capital today, right outside Parliament House. Now down the road at the Thai Embassy, there is going to be a Thai food and culture festival, something that I am really pumped for. Now, to be at such an event would really put me in a culture shock, which would prepare me for the real thing when I go to Thailand in November. But for now, it's just going to be a good old day in the nation's capital. <laughs> Welcome to the 2012 Thai Food and Cultural Fair. It is my great pleasure to welcome all of you to the Thai Food and Cultural Festival. The Thai Food and Cultural Fair in Canberra has been held annually for 10 years, each September at the Royal Thai Embassy. It's the Embassy's biggest event. It coincides with Canberra's Floriad, which draws a lot of people from around the country. Therefore, a much larger amount of people attend the event each year. This day in particular was steaming hot, so in hindsight I chose a bad day to wear a suit. But it was good to see both Thais and Aussies, and in particular half-castes like myself, enjoying themselves within the Thai culture on technically Thai land. You're half Thai? Yeah. Okay, uh, so is your father Thai and your... No, is that... That's your, that's your dad? For them to, to retain Thai, it's, they need to retain Thai because the Thais, they like listening to each other and having a party and yelling and screaming and that, but they do like to have Thai people around. And with at home, I mean, quite often, especially with, the, with them all there now, um, I'm the odd one out. And they don't speak English that much. But one thing that was speaking my language was this huge array of singer beer. Of course, as a 17-year-old, I wouldn't go anywhere near the stuff, at least not on camera. But in all seriousness, I had the honour of interviewing the Ambassador of Thailand, His Excellency Kun Marie Sangyam Pont. Okay, so today you must have loved to have had such a, a party again for the 10th year in a row in, in your backyard here at the Thai Embassy in Canberra. Mm -hmm. Yes, very much, very much. And I think it's the very nice weather, uh, sunny yeah. uh, all day. So I think everybody, everybody have a very good time. So is it more for the, uh, the Aussies, the Farang, or is it for the, uh, the Thai people living here in Canberra and all around Australia? The concept of having this kind of event is both. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, once or twice a year we should have a kind of open house mm -hmm. for Thai communities because this is the uh, Royal Thai Embassy. Mm -hmm. So I believe that Thai community will have a chance to visit Thai mm -hmm. uh, embassies as well. And as you may know that we have big Thai communities, not as big as the one in Sydney or in Melbourne, yeah. but we also have a quite big Thai communities here in Canberra. Actually it's for both. Um, it's a chance for the Thai community here to promote their business, uh, mostly restaurants and also there are some shops that sell made in Thailand products. And there's also a chance for um, people who are talented who can perform, for example, Muay Thai or Thai dancing to come and perform here. I made sure I asked them some advice in trying to immerse myself in Thai culture. I think Thailand is a very friendly country, so we, we welcome you know, foreigners, or if, especially if you, you know, have Thai, half Australian or Thai, it, it doesn't matter. If you come to our country, you're our guest, and uh, you'll be welcomed warmly with a smile, because um, if you have heard before, Thailand is called the land of smiles, and you'll be greeted with... Uh, Warmth. Warmth would certainly be the right word, but it didn't deter those in this fashion display where Thai models showed off their goods. However, it was the youngsters, the Thai children, who won over the crowd and took to the spotlight with confidence. Others, though, most likely felt intimidated by the big audience awaiting them and the giant TV camera pointing right in their face. I'll take the blame for that one. Regardless of the young model's confidence, the fact that I witnessed a piece of my past in a way, I saw Thai Aussie kids still developing in different ways, which really was an indication of the unique look that us halfies really have. I just wish I had this kid's confidence when I was his age. Reflecting on the day now, it was a terrific opportunity for me to discover the cultural influence Thailand had in Australia and how the Thai people are always keen to get together and celebrate their vibrant lifestyle. But by the end of the day, I'd been through quite a few interviews while being all suited up and all, there were plenty of ways for people to both relax and be entertained, but in regards to this band's song choice, they might have had the wrong address with the South Korean embassy just next door. This popular song was just a bit too hot at the time to resist. <laughs> Hey, 
ที่รู้นะคะวงของไทยในซิดนีย์เราอาจจะยังไม่รู้จักไม่หมดเพราะเราก็เพิ่งมาได้แค่2ปีแต่ว่าวงมันมีหลายแนวแต่ถามว่าชอบวงไหนเป็นพิเศษเราก็จะชอบวงตัวเองนี่แหละค่ะเพราะว่าเราก็มีความมุ่งมั่นและความพยายามแล้วก็ชื่นชมในความเป็นตัวเรามากแล้วก็มีวงรุ่นพี่ที่เราชอบก็เป็นวงในแนวของดนตรีไทยแต่ว่าเราเป็นการส่วนตัวเราไม่ได้รู้จักเขาเพราะว่าเราชอบอะไรที่เป็นเอกลักษณ์ที่มีความเป็นไทยแต่ว่าเราเป็นเด็กวัยรุ่นเนาะเราก็ต้องแสวงหาอะไรที่มันเป็นที่แปลกๆแล้วก็ใหม่ๆใหม่รุ่นเหรอใช่อะไรที่มันแปลกๆ Those who has a little bit of Thai for the Australian friends they will be able to understand more and then from the Very basic backgrounds of Thai uh, among them. They will gradually adapt, you know, more and more Thai tradition, more and more Thai cultures into their way of living. Uh, if you notice, I try to encourage all the Thai restaurants, you know, along the street there, not a street, but along the wall. And I ask them, well, you should show our Australian friends how we cook, how we do Thai, you know, uh, dishes. And uh, this is very simple. So I hope that the Australian friends who have a nit noi Thai <laughs> or a little bit of Thai will be able to go back to their home and then cook Thai food for yeah. themselves. So forth as the embassy continues to hold this annually, it would certainly be worthwhile to visit the Royal Thai Embassy in September of each year, regardless of your ethnicity or background. Once the day had finished, those at the embassy let me stay until late that night at the ambassador's residence before I went back to Melbourne. Thus, I'd like to extend my greatest appreciation and thanks to His Excellency, his family and the staff for their incredible hospitality, a hospitality that is so common in Thai people, which truly confirms that Thailand is more than just a land of smiles, but a land of kind-hearted people. After the break, my sister Melissa goes out to Springvale to meet with those from the Thai Language School of Melbourne, where she'll try and jog her memory of the early days before our dad stopped speaking Thai to us. Don't go anywhere, more cultural learning and more Thai ties right after these messages.